people ask me all the time, Harley, are you on drugs, man? Like, every time I see you, man, you're always, like, happy and chirpy and talking about all this empowering, positive attitude stuff, but what do you really like, man, behind closed doors? What do you really like after you've been riding for 10 hours in the rain or the heat or the sun? What do you really like when there's a guy with an iron bar and he's threatening to smash your head in? What do you really like then? You, you walk in your talk or you just, like, you know... A perma grinner, someone who just grins all the time and says, oh, I feel great, I feel great. But when someone asks them, why do you feel great? Oh, I don't know, I just feel great. You know, I feel great because I choose to feel great because I feel like I'm living my life purpose. I'm showing the world that raw plant foods all we need to succeed. And I'm doing this by massive feats of endurance on my bicycle, using Mother Nature as my guide and inspiration to overcome moments of adversity. So when you're living with that sort of intensity, it's quite easy to obtain emotions of happiness and sustain it. I also understand that happiness is only ever experienced in the present moment, right here, right now. And if you want to tap into that, it's just the choice in the moment, because that's all we have, right here, right now. Just walking along these train lines, <laughs> and I notice that people always say to me, oh, a vegan diet, you know, it's like so isolating and... But it's like, man, there's like vegan pizzas now, there's vegan restaurants, there's vegan athletes, there's vegan authors, there's vegan pop stars, there's vegan retreats, there's vegan communities, there's vegan religious groups, there's vegan, you know, pizzas, hot dogs, ice creams, Cokes, chocolates, donuts, freaking everything, you know. And now, I've just seen this, man, check it out, vegan graffiti. Fat. Save the planet. Go vegan. <laughs> like what next, man? What next? I'm just so grateful to be part of this uh, this change for a better planet, where we live and not just you know as arrogant humans expecting that everything's just for us to consume and just you know leave the mess for the next generation or just disrespect our animal friends. They're actually living with some purpose and some meaning and understanding that, you know, it's, we can't give money to the next generation, man, because you can't eat money. We've got to give them, you know, clean food, water and air and provide a community with people who care. <laughs> what they say, you know, do you dare to feel responsible for every dollar you lay down? You know, you're going to make the rich man richer, you're going to stand your ground. You say you want a, a revolution, a communal evolution, to be a part of a solution. You know, maybe we'll be seeing you around, that's what they say, you know, it's like... Look at the abundance we have. You can just, you're on the internet right now, looking at me, I'm in Adelaide, Australia, it's January 10th, summer sunshine, and you could be anywhere in the world, and you just click in a button, and you, you tap into this stuff. I'm just watching for trains, so I don't end up a flat Durin rider. So it's just about focusing in the moment. Focus on what you're grateful for. Shift your focus. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling over de depressed, that's your body's call to action that you must shift your focus now. Not later, not in the future, but now. Because if you want to feel good, man, it's only now that we can feel that. So let's take action. Let's understand that depression, feelings of depression and overwhelm and negativity, it's just the body's signal you know, to take action on that. You know, it's just like if you put your hand on a hot plate, you're gonna feel pain. The body's like, hey man, do something else. This isn't working. So if you're not feeling good, do something else, you know. Take action, go have some water, you know, eat some fruit, lay down, get some rest, get some sunshine. You know, think positive thoughts. Right now I'm stressing a bit because I'm standing on the train line and I can only see forward, I can't see back. So I'm worrying about what's behind me. It's a bit of a metaphor for life, isn't it? We worry about what's in our past, but the past is gone. So all we can do is just look forward and go with that. So remember, that's, you know, if you're feeling average and feeling down, it's your body's call to action that you must shift your focus. Ask yourself what you want and then head in that direction. Ask better questions of yourself. So say, oh, why, why me? I'm such a victim and why is it so hard and why... Is there more meat pies and coke than organic bananas in the shops and why, why, why? 
you know, let's, let's ask better questions like how can I be part of the solution? How can I contribute massively to myself, the animals and the planet? How can I make sure this never happens again? How can I help people overcome their adversity, what I've experienced, you know, things like that. How can I just be a part of the greater consciousness shift in the world? You know, how can I contribute to spreading the raw vegan message? How can I plant more trees? You know, how can I feed the possums the organic fruit? You know, this bag of apricots got squashed in my bag, and I'm like, cool, man, that's for the, that's meant for the possums then. You know, there's no waste. It's just sharing contribution and caring. So when you see it with that sort of light, then you start to live lighter and, you know, things are good. Things are good. Life's great, man. <laughs> Attitude for gratitude. See you later.